न्यूज व्यूज वॉइसेस ऑफ द ग्लोबल इंडियन कम्युनिटी इंडिया अब्रॉड हे एवरी वन हाउ यू डूइंग It is so nice to be here with all of you and so great to see so many friends and familiar faces. Uh, we're here to do so much today. It's to celebrate this incredible 25th anniversary of the White House Initiative, but also really to celebrate all of you, the communities we come from and the incredible contributions that we've made to this country. I also want to tell you just on a personal note that back in 2013 when I was nominated to serve in this role as Surgeon General uh, by President Obama and to to be the first API member to to serve in this role i was so incredibly touched by the support from all of you from this community it meant the world to me and i've always kept that in my mind and in my heart uh, that responsibility that i know many of us feel in government to not only embrace the opportunity we've been given but to open doors for others like us in our communities uh, who are also deserving of incredible opportunities to serve so i just wanted to say a thank you to all of you for that support And I also wanted to say you know be, being able to serve during a crisis like the covid crisis we've had is a tremendous honor and I know many of us feel that way every time I walk through the white house through our department through the halls of congress and see other API members uh, of our administration I feel a real sense of pride at how much rep representation we have and that has really grown over the years like you heard from Nira earlier today uh, even in the time that I've been Uh, in government i've seen a significant increase in in our representation and it's been really profound to see but one thing i'll tell you on a on a lighter note in terms of public service something that wasn't in the memo that i was given uh when i began my tenure as surgeon general is that you find that you end up disclosing a lot about your life <laughs> sometimes pri- things you thought you'd remain private become public like that one time i innocuously posted a picture of me at an ice cream shop uh somewhere in the United States and it became clear that I prefer to eat ice cream cones without the ice cream <laughs> and that led to a bipartisan national uproar <laughs> calls for my resignation and a rare moment of national unity in polarized times so you know these things that like this happen and a year after that I remember disclosing on a podcast with Eric Nam who many of you know a of a great K-pop fame but I disclosed that <clears throat> I in fact have always had this dream of being in a boy band <laughs> and I you know sometimes you forget other people are listening to your conversations <laughs> maybe the speakers and the headphones should have been a clue that others would but the point is that we decided during that call that if we ever fought, formed a boy band together that we would call it dosa jang after my two favorite foods dosa and gochujang sauce so <laughs> there you go so you know unexpected moments can sometimes lead to your dreams coming true in government <laughs> but yesterday was mother's day how many people celebrated mother's day <coughs> well look we're only less than 24 hours away from mother's day so i think the thing is okay to celebrate it shout out to all the mothers who are here all the mothers to be all the people who celebrated their mothers whether they're here or not <clears throat> but like many of you I was thinking about my mother and about my parents and their journey yesterday uh, you know many of our our parents took harrowing harrowing journeys to get here to the United States um my parents uh, were no different but i my earliest memories of what america was came from them and they taught me not through history books but through their stories that america was a place full of compassionate courageous optimists now they knew america wasn't like that all the time but they wanted their kids to grow up in a country that aspired to create opportunity for everyone where we wouldn't be judged on the basis of our skin color or where we came our ancestors came from or the sound of our accent or the fact that we had a funny sounding name but where we be in fact given opportunities based on our willingness to work hard based on our common humanity that notion of america as a place of courageous compassionate optimists is what fueled me uh, and in that dream my parents believed that in a compassionate america we took all we all take care of each other they believed that in a courageous america that we don't turn aside from hardship but we face it head on they believe that in an optimistic america we are not blind to what is broken about our world 
but we appreciate what is beautiful about our world and use it as fuel to help us take on the challenges ahead. And when I think about my parents' stories and the stories that brought so many of our immigrant families here, whether it was a generation ago or many generations ago, I realize that they are those compassionate, courageous optimists, and that part of our job as an AAPI community is to now continue in their footsteps and make that dream of an America where opportunity is available to everyone, to make that true for each and every person who comes to these shores, whether they came a year ago, a generation ago, or many generations ago. I know that doing that is not easy, and that you can't do that alone, and it requires a true community. And that's why my hope is when we leave here today, that we will remember that it is essential that we support and show up for each other, that we lift each other up, that we recognize that even though these can feel like lonely and isolated times, that we are not alone, that we share common struggles, but also common hopes. And it is when we come together, not just in moments like this, but in small moments, when we check on one another, when we support one another, those are the moments that help give us strength and that make the dream that our parents came here for and grandparents and ancestors possible. I finally just want to say that as we look to the future, my hope is that we will look at our community and at our heritage with a sense of pride, knowing that we have come from extraordinary backgrounds. You know, our, the immigrants who came before us, they braved unimaginable hardship to make the life possible that we all have. They hoped and dreamed one day that these lives may be possible. My grandfather, who was a poor farmer in a small village in South India, could never have dreamed that one day his grandson would be asked by the president to look out for the health of an entire nation. That is the power and the promise of America. So let us never forget where we came from. Let us never forget to be proud of our heritage. And let us leave here more committed to seeing that dream through of an America where opportunity is available to all, where everyone is welcome, and where everyone feels like they truly belong, regardless of their background. I'd be remiss if I didn't close by saying that one of the most important things we need in this moment to heal is music. Music is an incredible source of healing. It uplifts our spirit. It fills our soul. It brings us together in moments like this. And with that, I want to give great thanks to the artists from Mark Tycho Connection, who will be drumming for us today, and who, in a decision that they may soon come to regret, <laughs> have allowed me to actually join them. So thank you all.